I live here. I live here half the year now, so I didn't have to fly here, which was nice because uh, flying has become the most horrible thing ever, has it not? Have you been flying at all? And it's not safer. It's just worse and stupid. <laughs> now, how much do we love this? Now they just take things from you. <laughs> nope. They take. Here's my favorite thing. They take your tweezers. Do you know this? They take tweezers that you can, no, you can't have those, right? Greek and Italian women totally flipping out. <laughs> no! Ah! What the hell is that about? You, got the, you don't take anything on a plane, too, unless you know that, like, you're going to have to talk about it. Because they go through every bag now, right? And then just unzip it, just start going through your stuff, right? It's unbelievable. I'm like, this guy he zips it up and he's not going through it. And he's going, and he's like, yeah, ma'am, what's this? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I get um, a cramp in my neck. <laughs> All the female security guards trying to act like they don't know what it is. La, 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 la. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. <laughs> they have the big lines. It's crazy. And, but uh, finally, however, it does work out to be homosexual at the airport. It's about time, little, little, just a little bonus for us, right? Because now, if you have to get pat, patted down, security, the men have to pat down the men, and the women have to pat down the women. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And for me, come on, have you seen those women in their little security guard outfits, right? And they're all tough, you know. Ma'am, could you stand over here, please, and spread your legs? Uh-huh. <laughs> you are excellent with the wand. <laughs> have you been wanded? That's amazing. They say right to your face, I will have to touch you with my hand. <laughs> Anywhere the wand beeps. I'll have to touch you with my hand. I'm all taping pennies to myself. <laughs> beep. Beep, beep, beep. Touch it! so stupid. It's so ridiculous. And in the beginning, you know what I mean? Like when it first got bad at the airports, I had such a great attitude. No, I had a great attitude. You know, they'd be like, ma'am, we have to go through your bags. And I'd be like, oh no, that's fine. God bless America. Now what? It's almost two years, right? And I'm so over it. And I have <laughs> such a bad attitude. I'd be standing in a long line to go, man, I'm gonna have to go through your bags. Like, oh yeah, sure, search me. I'm a freaking terrorist. <laughs> yeah, every time I look at a paper, I'm like, my God, it's me. <laughs> you think you won't think that way, but it comes up. <laughs> and I'm a, against any kind of racial uh, profiling or anything. I think that'd be horrible, fine. But they gotta use a little common sense at the airports, people. It's wacky. All right, I'm in Tucson, Arizona last Christmas. Now. Who lives in Tucson, Arizona? The oldest people in the world. Right? People retire from Florida. <laughs> to Tucson. I'm standing in the airport and it's like lines and lines of tiny little Ewoks and Yodas. Sasquatch, woo! <laughs> we stand in line, I don't know, like an hour and 10 minutes. I'm freaking out. And then we finally get up there. Who do they have pulled over? Who are they dressing down? Some poor, tiny little old lady, right? She's pulling stuff out of her straw clutch bag. 
Yeah, did you want a butterscotch? <laughs> you seem a little fidgety, actually. We'll take one for your friend. And I'm so freaked out, and I like, you know, you can't help it, I'm all going, excuse me. Yeah, I think I speak for everyone. <laughs> when I point out, you know, she's 96 years old. <laughs> she's four foot eight. Okay, if she starts anything on the plane, I think I can take her. <laughs> Let her 